Every time I leave the apartment, I always stop to think maybe two or three times, boy, do I really get to live in Chongqing? If it wasn't for these freaking stairs, though, I... But that's part of the charm. And even more charming, that's why on Chongqing Punk, stop by stop today, we're gonna go see the cool 80s neighborhood. Come on, let's go. Wait, subscribe and like. Well, I'll get back. To, in case you forget, I'll tell you later. Don't worry. Not all Chongqing Punk stop by stops are a complete mystery to us. Sometimes we have help from friends and helpful websites. Transferring to 10, these are the kind of stairs that I like. And one of the best places to get information about Chongqing is our friend and the site from Alicia. What's the name of her site? Joyous CQ. Joyous CQ. In um, English. WeChat. WeChat is one of the best places in English to find out where the cool people are getting coffee, where they're shopping for vintage clothing, and just basically hanging out and looking cool. Taking shots of the city, because, I mean, to be fair, any shot that you take is gonna be great. I had to rush through that introduction of, uh, to her site because it was so fast. It wasn't even an express. We just like zipped here to, how do you say, how bow? How bow. How bow. How bow. How bow. This just in. It's not joyous CQ. It's now amazing CQ. And we're going to put a link somewhere, if I can, up there or down there so that you can find out where you're going. For example, we started up here. On the other side of the water is the, the, the penis insula of Maine downtown. And we moved across the water. We were talking to you right about there on the train. That's pretty cool, right? And then we're, now we're here. That's how maps work and trains work. Amazing CQ. The first thing I'm greeted by coming out of the number two exit of, of the station is sunlight, or Chongqing's mystical, magical equivalent thereof. Here it comes. Actually, it's a pretty sunny day in this quiet little neighborhood. Well, golly, it seems that there's a whole big park up here on a cliff or something, and we got like buses and, uh, but it's not just a park. Look, there's people moving in. I mean, those refrigerators, they could be us. Are we moving in? You see people dancing all the time, just like this, but rarely with like such nice costumes and hats. And look, it's just over the city. First things first, what we gotta do is we gotta find lunch. And contrary to popular belief, it's not all hot pot. It is mapu dofu. Check out, look at how silky this is as it splits apart. It's beautiful, it's spicy, it's red hot. And to cool that off, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get some of these cucumbers right here. Garlic and oil, cool and refreshing. It's already getting warm here in the spring. And then just to top it off, you know, to keep the fibers going, some nice greens and things. Put it on a bed of rice. Have it in a little nice neighborhood behind a bus stop. We're getting our strength ready to go out and figure out what the heck we came up here for. Sometimes a friendly fellow is gonna come along and want you to help out with some of his afternoon lunch day drinking. And that's okay. If you just have a couple of beers, you know, a couple of cheers, a couple of beers, and move on to a trance, where you can get a coconut latte or an orange cinnamon tea. That's the relaxation that we're going for these days. Wow, this is, we've been waiting for something like this for years. I've, whoa, sorry. I'm in a bit of a trance at the delicious drinks here at Trance. It's a good thing that we took the regular stop up the two to get to that uh, bus stop area because even though we didn't take a bus, that was where we were gonna get our lunch. And it was a delicious lunch. As it turns out, we could have taken the elevator here, which takes us all the way from the train station. That's just where we were. But now we're up here to get a view of that. I don't know what I'm talk talking about. <laughs> One thing that's really neat about up here is that there's a mixture of a lot of young, hip people and a lot of older folks too, which I think maybe just points out that the, the old people are the hipsters of the past. Don't discount it, don't be ageist. I know we promised you 80 Street. We're getting there, I think. I don't know what that's even gonna entail, but we're gonna find out as soon as we're done investigating the park here. Obviously, we're not the only people up here to take photos. 
like I said earlier, it doesn't matter where you put the camera, you're gonna find things to take pictures of and they're all gonna look beautiful. Could you imagine if you lived in one of these apartments right behind me? On the bathroom report, they're really good. This park is keeping it super clean. In fact, so clean, I couldn't actually get away from the stall fast enough while the woman was sweeping up and mopping up around me. A little slippery, a little dangerous, but extra clean. I may never learn Mahjong or even be that big of a tea head, but at some point I do want to come back up here, especially for the nighttime and see what like this whole tea jam is about. Welcome to the beautiful hilly streets of San Francisco. I could never afford to live in San Francisco, so I moved here to Chongqing, where it's just as beautiful, maybe even more delicious. I know you're gonna call me spoiled that we have a, an apartment for free on the university campus. I mean, but this is the life that I wanna lead. Is it so bad if we move to an area like this? Is it? And before you accuse me of being a colonizer, this is kind of what our neighborhood looked like in Luzhou. So we were used to like 10 years of this. It's weird that we kind of live in a mall slash tire district downtown. Maybe we're not as big city as we used to be. Or maybe we just need like a nice neighborhood that is accessible by a quick train. Look at those cobblestone streets. Screw you, Boston. Ever since Mickey Mouse went public domain, shit's gone crazy. People point out that cyberpunk is the mixture of young, old, new, different, drastic time technology things. And I think having both is actually the best way to go. That's why Chongqing actually fulfills all of my needs, street meat and technology in the sky. Speaking of cyberpunk, how did Nuts Punk Fest go this year? Let's take a look and don't you dare turn away while we show this to you or else I'm gonna put my imitation Doc Martin down on your neck. So it went pretty well. We sold a couple of handfuls of t-shirts. We got some people on our Instagram. We got to like hobnob with some folks. Next year, we'll bring more t-shirts. Hopefully by then we'll be super famous. And because you are liking and you are subscribing, hit those things, hit them, hit them, hit them. Oh, I get it. It's 80s as in 80s, 1980s China. Not 80s as in like 80s nostalgia, which is actually a lot better. I don't need VHS copies of like cartoons that I grew up with. 80s streets. Now that I'm about reaching that age, getting up towards my 70s, I think maybe this is the part, the place where I'm gonna really end up. This looks like home now. Every year I try. Yes. Wrapped up tight and green, the banana leaves so lovingly. From the highest highs of Chongqing, all the way down to the lows, and the even lowers, and the way down there, and then all the way up to the mountains. Dynamics, that's what I'm talking about. You're supposed to stop and take pictures here. That's what I'm going to do. We're going back in time. Actually, we're coming back to regular time. We started at the wrong side of the street. I think this is where we were supposed to have begun. So that's what the 1980s looked like in China. In Chongqing, China, anyways. Um, 
about what I expected. Uh, it also looks like our last 10 years in Lujo, so it's not terribly different. Um, it's nice that we've moved to the big city to know that we're this close to the China that, that we grew up with. But let's just relax and take in the view. So here's the real entrance to the, the 80 street. And you can see right out there, there's two, 2024. It's happening, it's going right by, but just spin around this way and you're back into the 80s. I'm wondering if all those people have been hired as maybe they're all actors. None of them are actually from the 80s. 